Thank you so much, Chair Garlick, Chair Lewis, and the Education Committee esteemed colleagues. I'm delighted to offer testimony supporting S245 and H477, an act prohibiting the use of Native American mascots by public schools in the Commonwealth. Uh, like Representative Fluker Oakley, with whom I am very proud to um, share this bill, I also wanted to thank all those testifying today, and with a special thanks to Rhonda and Ferries and Brittany, uh, who have been leading this work statewide. So, as you know, Chairs, this bill acknowledges the common humanity of all. It addresses historic wrongs and it ends harm caused by perpetuating harmful racist stereotypes. And that's, again, harm caused to all. The bill says clearly to Native Americans who had been on this land for millennia before pilgrims landed a mere 400 years ago, you are people, not mascots. You will be here. You were here before colonists. You endured and survived brutal injustices, and your, you and your tribal communities will continue to help lead the Commonwealth into the future. This bill is endorsed by the National Congress of American Indians, the largest and oldest such organization, representing hundreds of tribal nations coast to coast. As Rhonda said, this fight is uh, decades old, uh, 50 or 60 years old, depending on who you talk to, uh, has been the national fight to end mascots. You have seen letters from the Massachusetts tribes, that's the Chappaquiddick Wampanoag, the Herring Pond Wampanoag, the Mashpee Wampanoag, the Massachusetts tribe at Ponkapog, the Nipmuc Nation, and the Pocasset Wampanoag, all urging the passage of this bill. I've also been deeply appreciative of the deep engagement of the Aquina on this issue. At the college level, the NCAA has determined that Native American mascots violate their policy requiring teams to promote, quote, an atmosphere of respect for and sensitivity to the dignity of every person, end quote. Dozens of other higher education institutions have dropped Native mascots. The NFL, as was mentioned, the Major League Baseball teams are right behind them. The American Psychological Association has called for the immediate retirement of all Native American mascots. It determined that Native American mascots have broad negative consequences. Uh, again, as uh, the speaker so rightly said, um, from NASW a moment ago, of course harmful to Native American children, but actually all uh, children of color and all white children, as well as the staff and faculty. That's what the research shows because of the, the ripple effects of uh, racialized stereotypes. The MTA, NASW, as you heard, the New England Area Conference of the NAACP oppose Native American mascots. Other national organizations opposing Native American mascots include the National Education Association, the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights, and the American Anthropological Association. As Senator Lewis mentioned, states across the nation have passed similar legislation, and boards of education have also taken action. Last uh, spring, for example, New York State, the Board of Regents, called it, quote, long overdue, end quote, and voted unanimously to ban all Native mascots outright. I respectfully suggest that it's time for the Commonwealth, especially the Commonwealth, to safeguard the civil rights of all our people by rejecting discrimination and injustice. Thank you so much for your consideration and your work. Thank you.